Welcome to the exciting world of archival research. Before you begin your journey, there are a few simple concepts you must learn. First, and most important, the researcher must understand what archival repositories contain. Archival collections are the natural result of the activities of individuals and organizations and serve as the recorded memory thereof. In other words, the materials held by archives were not created with an audience in mind, rather they were created in the normal course of business. This distinctive relationship between records and the activities gener that generated them differentiates archives from other documentary resources. Secondly, in order to use these collections, the researcher must understand how the records are arranged. The principles of provenance and original order govern archival arrangement. The principle of provenance means that the records that were created, assembled, accumulated, and or maintained by an organization or individual must be represented together. The principle of original order means that the order of the records that was established by the creator should be maintained by physical and or intellectual means whenever possible to preserve, preserve existing relationships between the documents and the evidential value inherent in their order. In other words, the papers of Truman Capote are maintained separately from the papers of Harper Lee, even though it might be interesting to interweave them. And remember, when looking at a collection, never move papers from where you found them. It is important to keep the items in the order in which they are arranged. You never know. You may make inter interesting discoveries based on the order of these materials. Now that you've mastered the basic concepts of archival practice, we will move on to protocol while using the material. Before entering the research room, we ask that you leave your belongings in our secure lockers. This keeps the research area tidy and makes it more difficult for archival material to inadvertently slip into bags or pockets. You will also need to register before being able to use the materials. Registration helps the archival staff get to know their users and learn how to serve them better. It also ensures that there is a record who, of who was working in the research room in case they need to track down missing materials. Only pencils are allowed in the research room, no pens. How terrible would you feel if you accidentally left an ink stain on Abraham Lincoln's papers? Remember these guidelines and you'll be well on your way to discovering the wonders of archival research. <laughs>